WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. In fact, only one sector, two sectors inside the S&P 500 are trading off just a bit. The uh, uh, XLP is down 29 cents. The real estate sector is basically flat. It's off one penny. Otherwise, we've got all the U.S. indices trading the upside. Dow's up 103, S&P 29, NASDAQ 100, Russell's up 24. That's a little over 1%. One and four tenths for the semis are 69 points there. 41 for the trainees. You've got gold up 21 bucks. Silver's up 76 cents. Light to recruit is trading up 50 pennies. Natural gas is a breakout mode. It's uh, up uh, seven pennies, trading out at 221. And the 30 year treasury is flat at 115.29. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini. On Friday, it went ahead and confirmed an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Its initial price projection is 52.27. That is very likely to be the outcome at a minimum as long as price remains below its 50-day expense moving average, which it is. The 50 days at 1506, the spot fix at 1383. If we take a look at the NQ on Friday, it also confirmed an A to B equals CD pattern the upside. Now, it's taking on resistance as we speak, and that's the top of its daily profile, 18089. That's the number to watch. If we get a close above that, 18089 today, that's going to suggest move to 1822. If we take a look at the moves along that left side, side of that C to D leg of the ES and the NQ, it actually is suggesting we may see more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD move to the upside. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, a consolidation with inside its daily profile. That ranges between 104.71 as a support and 106.32 as resistance. Goldilocks really trading in between the support and resistance of its weekly profiles. That's between 22.78 and 24.48. Uh, Silver is having a nice move this morning. It is trading in between its weekly profile as well. This weekly profile that comes from my white background chart, that support level was tested for three, four days yesterday, and that's at the uh, 2651 level. You know what they say? You can't bust them down. You try to bust them up. Well, right now, resistance up at 2784. That's daily resistance. Light Sweet Crude needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern. We don't have that as we speak just yet, but we could by day's end. And natural gas, it has broken up above its consolidation pattern. Now, one day above it doesn't mean it's a breakout, but if we do have two consecutive days above this area, we should see a move up towards that 240 level. And just a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside profiles for the 30-year Treasury. It's got resistance at 116.10, since the last two days, and support down at 113.26. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, if you would, but if you're up to start, please have a marvelous one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.